Hello, good people. How you doing? I'm Larry Jones. This is Stock Up. So if you live in California or New York and you make over a million dollars, your capital gains tax could double. Let's go. So the reason why the stock market just kind of tanked today is simply because that the president is supposed to soon be making a speech and uh, that would include doubling the capital gain tax um, for high incomers. And right now it's for those that make a million dollars or more, right? And that tax is going to be at 43%. So you're going to be taxed at 43%, right? On capital gains. Um, what that does is it affects all of us that's in the market. The market does not like that. I, I always told you guys when the Fed is moving his mouth, the, the market doesn't like it. I don't care if he's giving you good or bad news, right? Um, and now when the president starts talking about taxation, that's not good. That's why good people, I'm independent. I, I'm simply an independent. I'm a free thinking individual. Remember, we don't discuss politics as far as who's the best. We only discuss politics here as it pertains to our money. Uh, before I go any further, for those of us, for those of you rather, that's new to the page, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. You wanna make sure that notification bell is set to all, all right? For those of you that's been with us for a while, you know, go ahead and hit the like button. I'll talk about Weeble at the end. Let's get right into it. So 43% is a lot. That's double. Me personally, I just believe in everybody pay the same taxes, right? And um, so what, what's really happening is we're, we're trying to be Robin Hood. We're, trying, we're trying to take from the rich, well, they are, and give to the poor. Is that fair? Um, I, I really don't think so. There is a equality gap. There is a, a income gap that is huge and needs to be fixed. I just think it needs to be through education and, and us learning how to get what's ours and then outlawing the, the immoral practices that some of these hedge fund managers have. That's what I think is fair because we're going to be millionaires. You and I, we're going to be millionaires. We're trying to be millionaires. So we don't want to kill what makes millionaires. Right. But I believe this is me personally. I believe everybody, it should be a flat tax. Everybody pays the same thing. Right. That's just me. But it has a negative effect on the stock market in your stocks because the people that own the companies are the high incomers. So that's why you have people that are, you know, offshoring their accounts, um, um, leaving the country, shipping their businesses, um, to other countries, you know, the, these, these iPhones, they're not made here in the United States. Um, and you know, when you're taxed so much, it actually hurts the economy. Me personally, I believe this is the worst time to be talking about taxes. Absolute worst. So I played a video before the president's speech on stock. We should, um, uh, before his infrastructure speech on what we should be focusing on and what we should be buying before he made his speech. As a matter of fact, I'll play you a short clip by 2040 to be carbon neutral, 2035, it's 2020 now, right? So 15, 20 years from now, the problem with that is our current president won't be, um, in the presidency, how is he going to pay for this? Through taxes, right? What's going to come first? The taxes are going to come first and then the product. Okay. And so therein lies a problem. Remember, I, I'm an independent. So I just look at how we're really going to make money. So as you can see, I said that the taxation was coming first. And that's the problem with politics, all po politics. There's enough blame to go around on both sides, right? 
Um, and that's what's happening to all of us. So the people generally, we always pay the price for what they do. You know, it's like the big brother of the family messes up and everybody, you know, all of us get a whooping too. And it's unfair. I don't like it, but I will tell you that this is short term. Number one, um, it's, it's going to be met with a lot of, uh, he's got a, a tough battle to get this passed, right? Because, um, most don't think it's a good idea right now. You got, you know, you got radicals on both sides. Uh, so just because the president proposes, this does not mean it's going to get passed. All right. There's, that's why that's the one thing I do like about politics is that they are, there's checks and balances, right? And so, um, that's what's happening to your money. Good people, simply put, uh, I don't like it. Uh, I, I believe this is going to pass. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, you know, I think they're going to agree on a lesser amount. Okay which I believe is good, but I don't believe it's good right now to start taxing a penny more right now because we need jobs. We need everything that stimulate job creation. So I, I do believe we need an infrastructure bill and I do believe, you know, we need job creation, but taxing over taxing the people that makes the jobs is not good for the market and the market showed you it's not good by it being a red day. So for those of you saying you taking sides, no, look at your portfolio. It's red and I'm just explaining why it's red. The end result is it doesn't matter how passionate you are about being a Democrat or a Republican. We always pay the bill. We, the people, we always pay the bill, you know, you know, somebody sat at the table and drank. I'm not a drinker, but somebody sat at the table and drunk the most expensive drinks. And then they get up and leave and you, you stuck with the bill. That's us. Right. And the politicians, they were the ones that, that ran the tab up. And so that's what it is. So, um, we need to, uh, really know that I believe this is Larry. Remember, I'm not your financial advisor. Neither do I play one on television yet. <laughs> I'm joking. But remember, I think this is short term. I don't think this is a cause for panic selling or any of that. I don't think it's a sign that it was a dead cat bounce, meaning that we were out. If you really look at it, corrections last about three months and we're in the Q2. To me personally, Q3, quarter three is looking pretty good, right? So let's just finish getting through uh, quarter two, Q2, and, and Q3 is looking pretty good to me. And, and a lot of analysts is actually looking good. So this is another, Hey, hold on. I know you get tired of saying, hold on. How long can I hold? But just think about what happened yesterday. Just think about what happened the last couple of days, especially for those of us that are into high growth stocks and EVs and like that, that are, that have been green the, the last couple of days. If we had 10 more days of yesterday, just think about how good your portfolio would look. That would, that would look really good to me, good people. So I just wanted to stop in and let you guys know what's happening. I know a lot of YouTubers are going to be posting the same thing. The president has not spoke at the time that I'm making this video, but he's soon to speak. And, um, he is supposed to come with that proposal, but let me, let me show you the danger in taxation. So what happens is they'll say, Hey, we're going to start it with people that make a million dollars. And then, that sliding scale slides down to, oh, a half a million. Okay, well then people making over 400,000. And then that 400,000 gets cut in half, then we're gonna tax people at that rate, 43%, that's making 200. And the next thing you know, it'll be 100,000. The next thing you know, it'll be 80,000. So, you know, it's one of those things that they're, they're, they don't give mon more money to the people, they just take more money for government. And I, I just don't like big government because there again, who foots the bill? We do. We fund it all. We the people. And uh, so that's a sliding scale that I don't like. Right. And and it's, it's, it is over taxation just simply is a job killer. Right. It, it is. And so we should be right now giving companies companies a tax break. Now, the other side of that coin is I am for high incomers paying their fair share. And it should be the same for everybody. 
your taxes should be fixed. And this is what I believe. And it doesn't matter if you make a trillion dollars, you're paying your fair share. What's wrong with a fair tax? You know, it, we just, they, they, they just overcomplicate stuff and we pay the bill. All right. I'm going to leave it right there. Good people. Uh, we were looking for uh, stock mode, uh, not stock mode, stock curry uh, stopped in. I'll give you a stock. And we were talking about a good stock, right? Value stock. And uh, he and I agree on GM. Thanks, Stock Curry, for stopping by. I pinned it up at the top of my last video that Gen General Motors is a good value stock that I see as a high growth stock. So I see it as a value slash high growth stock. And I'm going to start adding it. I, I've already brought, bought a few shares last week of GM. And I'm going to start adding to my positions on GM because other than Tesla and, and I, I believe that GM is going to have a sizable market share because they already have the infrastructure in place and all they have to do is retool and they will be a major game player in the electric vehicle sector. All right. So let's start looking at GM General Motors. OK, good people. So for those of you that know. I am a big fan of Weeble, the Weeble app that you can now trade do, uh, Dogecoin on. Doge, I like the acronym Doge, D-O-G-E. Do only good every day. Doge, that's the acronym. Um, uh, I know it was made up, but anyway, I like that. But um, if you deposit $100, you get two free stock worth up to $1,850. And I'm an influencer, I get a free stock but it ain't nowhere like that. We're, <laughs> I get one free stock and uh, it helps the page out and I continue to help you guys out as you continue to help me out and we help each other. All of that good stuff, good people. Hey, we're gonna see you later um, and let's see what happens tomorrow, okay, good people? We love you guys, all right? Live, love, laugh, and learn. <laughs>